Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia and today as you all know I love decorating tear trays. You can check out all of my tear tray decor over on my home channel. So today I decided to create a couple Valentine's Day uh, decor pieces for my tear tray. For my very first one I'm starting with this uh, slab of wood. It is a piece that came from a different project um, just an old piece of wood and then I cut out a love uh, stencil with my Cricut just a simple love you can write this out on your own if you don't want to use the stencil and a piece of burlap and you will also need some red and black acrylic paint so the very first thing that I am doing is painting the um, piece of wood with the red paint. I want it uh, to give it a good amount of coverage but I still want that wood to show show through a little bit to kind of give it that really rustic uh, barn look. Make you mine. When I close, close my eyes Know that you're the only thing I see And it makes once my piece of wood was painted and dry, I uh, cut out the burlap to fit. I want it to be a little bit shorter and um, not as so not as high and not as wide as the piece of wood. I wanted some of that red to show on the sides. I then I fringe it on all the sides. Let me know down below if you have been enjoying my Valentine's DIYs. I have taken a bit of a different approach this year, different style, and I am really enjoying the style that I chose for this year. Uh, it's um, definitely not as um, bright pink or red Valentine's. It's more softer, rustic um, look that I'm going for. So let me know down in the comments if you've been enjoying it and if you haven't had a chance to watch any of them, I will link the Valentine's Day playlist to my, um, uh, at the end there for you to go right after you watch this video. So as you can see, I am just, I've cut the love, um, stencil so it uh, goes, uh, straight not one underneath the other and I'm just taping it up to the burlap so it doesn't move when I use my white acrylic paint I forgot to mention that I'm using and I'm just dabbing it on like sponging it on with my sponge paintbrush As we're sitting here in silence, all I'm hearing is the rain. Don't mean to be so quiet. Now because there is not a lot of paint there, it does not need time to dry so I just had glue it to the piece of wood. And to finish it, if you happen to have nice finishing nails, you can totally add them here. But all I'm doing is adding black circles to each um, corner of the burlap and it does give it that finishing nail look that I was going for. I absolutely love the way this piece turned out and it looks amazing at the bottom tray of my big tier tray. For my next project, I cut up a piece of MDF um, sign that I had from a different project. Uh, and um, I just cut, cut them up into these three little pieces and then I drilled a hole in the middle so I can put some rope or ribbon through it. You will also need some red, black and gray paint. Now unfortunately I did not have gray paint. I had black and I had silver paint but that wouldn't work so I just made my own dark gray paint by mixing black and white. 
If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Sonia and this is my DIY channel. I also have a home channel and a cooking channel and I will link the links to those channels down in the description box. And make sure you check, check out my Instagram as well if you're not following along. You will not be disappointed. Uh, I post lots of different things over on Instagram, lots of uh, peeks into what's happened and what's coming up and a lot of what's happening at the moment. And if you're not part of my YouTube family, I would love it if you considered subscribing and pressing the notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future uploads. So as you can see, I have painted each of these pieces of wood in a different color. I let these dry completely before I move on the next uh, next step. I know I have to close that door, be the man that I Once I was sure that they were completely dry, I am trying to figure out which of these white pens would work. I have a uh, premium water-based pens. Uh, pen and then I have a glass pen and a chalk pen and I ended up deciding that the best pen for the job would be the water-based premium pens so I am going to use that one I got that one at Michael's uh, I will try and leave a link down in the description box if I can find it on online and as you saw, I was doing a little testing on the side of this board just because I didn't want it to go over top and start writing and then having to write over it. different love notes to each one of them and first I just go with with uh, just writing and then I go over it to thicken up the lines I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you I'm thinking of you, wondering if you're thinking about me too Now it's too late, now it's too late I'm out of time, but I'm still thinking of you With this red one, I did make a little mistakes and it was an easy fix. I just painted over it and let it dry again before I wrote it out again. I always run out of space. So much better. I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you, wondering if you're thinking about me too, now it's too late, I know it's too late, I'm out of time, but I'm still Thinking of you Thinking of you I'm thinking of you I'm wondering if you're thinking about me too Now it's 
last thing I do is I just add a piece of a rope to the top of each one of them. I think these turned out really cute and they look amazing on top of my tear tray. And the red one adds that punch of color. This project was super easy to make. I used a ceramic tile and I used a premium water-based black marker to um, to do the writing and I just wrote um, a note on it. Now you can also use your Cricut to cut out the letters but I just wanted to show you that you can simply just take your time and write it out yourself. It turns out just as good in my opinion. But if you want to make it easier on yourself, the Cricut machine works great. I love adding these little tiles with different sayings onto my tear tray. It's a perfect size and it fits perfectly in the middle of my tear tray. Well, I hope you enjoyed these easy, uh, inexpensive DIYs. And uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your notification bell is on. And if you think someone else would enjoy them, make sure you uh, share it with them and don't forget to check out the rest of the valentine's day playlist which will be linked at the end thanks so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video